Alright, in this video we're going to take a look at an old high standard Sport King, the first model. Uh, these particular pistols were manufactured between 1951 and 1953. As you see it has the original box, the world's finest 22 caliber auto loading pistol for what's left of the box. And what's unique about this gun is this gun is the factory two barrel set spare magazine. You may have bought that. I don't doesn't look like it comes anywhere in the box. But what it does, it comes with two barrels. A uh, four and a half inch barrel and a six and three quarter inch barrel. You could buy the pistols either way with just one barrel, but this is the uh, a little bit harder to find combination set. It came with two interchangeable barrels. And with the original box, you know, it's it was pretty much survived all that time. So, this particular gun was left to me by my great uncle. Uh, I guess he bought it back in the early 50s. He liked to shoot. And, uh, High Standard was known for making competition 22 automatic uh, pistols. Anybody who did any target shooting, High Standard was one of the U.S. manufacturers for uh, competition guns. So we'll take a look at this thing here. Get a close-up of it. And what it is, is just a well-made 10-shot semi-automatic 22 caliber pistol. Pretty simple uh, design and back in the 50s, 40s, 50s, 60s, very popular. Um, this particular gun, the Sport King, comes with the lightweight barrels. Uh, they, made, they basically made guns with heavy barrels, uh, weight attachments, more uh, competition grade guns is probably what this company is more uh, known for. And like I said, 10 shot mag, 22 long rifle. Um, they have these nice contour grips where you can rest your thumb for the thumb rest. And this pistol here does not have a magazine hold open, these early ones. Later models would hold the slide back after the last shot was fired. This gun does not have it. Um, the only thing it has is right here, this is the safety. Down is fire and I guess up is uh, safe. And interchangeable barrels and this early style uses a lever system. How you do this is you pull this lever up and the barrel will get removed. Let me change the camera angle and uh, it will be easier for me to demonstrate this. Okay, as uh, I said, they, High Standard made a lot of competition guns, and like the name of this pistol implies, the Sport King, they uh, made this pistol more for, you know, recreational or just general use. Uh, hunting, a good carry gun to go out in the field with. Um, the, like I said, this early model does not have a mag hold open. But, as you see, this thumb rest and that lever on the side there, you push it up and that's safe. It also locks the slide. Push it down and you fire. The grip is extremely nice, points well. This thumb rest, um, it's a very comfortable gun to shoot and to hold. Now it has a fixed sight on the front and a fixed sight in the rear which probably you can drift for wind windage but they're actually pretty easy to see they're pretty good sized sights easy to pick up um, nice general purpose 22 pistol now as for taking the gun apart they have these which are called the lever style which is uh, this right here, this lever here. I think the later models 
I think I had a friend that had a later model, was built like in the 70s. They changed the way the barrel detaches. There's some other system of doing it, but this is the older, they call the lever style system. And basically, all you do is push up on the lever. It's kind of hard for me to do. You pull it up with your finger, and then you could just slide the barrel assembly off like this. And then the slide comes off right behind it. And what you have is all machine frame. I believe that's the hammer there. Uh, it's all made out of solid machined metal. The frame everything. Not like our uh, polymer pistols nowadays. So this is a old-fashioned style gun. It's Pretty simple and basic, but extremely well made, precisely machined. You slide. Uh, they actually put like a dull finish so it won't reflect instead of like a high polished blue. And again, all machined and nice quality. Nice weapon. And as you see, there's a system of locking the barrel in. It's all machine that slides into the uh, frame and locks into place in this huge groove here. Which, your lever, if you look, I believe we'll do it with this hand. If you look down in there, the lever, that's how it locks the whole action up. And then to put it back together, you just get the slide to go in the grooves, push that back, we'll put the short barrel on, line this up in the grooves in the frame, where that all goes, pull up on your lever, and then I just push it in until I hear it lock. And then now we got our four inch barrel or four and three quarter, whatever barrel in there. Nice little handy gun to holster carry on your side, camp gun, gun to go hiking with. Uh, nice. It's good in the hand. So it's just an interesting old gun that I ended up with. Um, I had it for years, and like I said, it was left to me in, a, in an estate. Somebody, a relative actually, wanted me to have this after they passed on. And, you know, years ago, they were pretty commonplace guns, like Smith & Wesson's and that, but now, with the original box and the two-barrel set, I didn't realize it's, it's quite a valuable collector's item. I just like it, and in the second half of this video, we're going to go out and shoot this gun. And it is accurate, it is comfortable and fun to shoot. It's just a neat, older style firearm that's, you know, nice. So now we're going to go on to where I take it out to the range, shoot it, and uh, kind of enjoy this old piece. Okay, we're out at the range with our high standard Sport King. Sold 22, and I got the six inch barrel in it, and we're going to try to shoot at seven yards at just a standard target, just to see what we get. Okay, let's go see what we did. Well, it's not too bad. And that's why a 22 
is something it's economical. The ammunition used to be fairly inexpensive, and it's a good way to practice uh, to get your grip, trigger pull, and everything down. And as you can see, it's a fairly accurate gun at that distance. Now we'll try the four inch barrel. Changing the barrel is fairly easy. Clear the weapon. And on these older models, you have a lever you push up on, like right here. And you just push up, pull out the barrel. It's machined and dovetailed. Then you take the four inch, go into the groove in the frame, pull up on the lever, slide it back. There we are, four inch barrel mode. Okay, now it's four inch barrel. I'm going to try the same thing at seven yards. Okay. There's a change in the balance of the pistol between the two barrels. And as you see, I was shooting high and I had to compensate. But once, once you readjust and get yourself uh, used to the difference in the weight, length, sight radius, uh, very accurate handgun. Okay, now we have all our little 22 spinners. Now we're going to have some fun. What else we can get here? That's it. Fun and a nice old pistol.